Jamaica's top five richest garrisons. Yes, you heard right. There is absolutely nothing poor about some of these places. Let's take a look at where, how, and why are these inner city areas so rich? Welcome to Talk Truth Jamaica, where we explore hot, trendy topics. Wagwan, Talk Truth fans. Today is one of those days where we inspire and enlighten one's darkness. Number five. Red Hills Road. Mm -hmm. Talk Truth. Especially sections off of Red Hills Road. Whitehall Avenue, Common, Park Lane, and Upper 100. Number four. Sections of Mullines Road, Akiwak, Marvelly, Drew's Land, and Seawar Drive. Number three. Spanish Town. Number two. St. Andrew's South, covering Maxfield Avenue, Jungle, and parts of Walton. Number one. East and West Kingston. And we all know the vast amount of inner city areas that these two divisions cover. I'm going to just want to say Denham Town, Greenwich Farm, Dunkirk, Tel Aviv, Mountain View, Bay Farm, Catburn Pen. Now say nothing on the money. Yeah, goody. Talk your nice clean out. I know right now most of you are like, what? Richest ghetto? I wish you had talk about. Mm-hmm. Talk to me, me tell you something. I get up people spend the most money. These garrisons is where hands exchange money every day, every tick of the clock. This is why Mr. Chin and Mr. Wang happily set up shop in these communities regardless of the risk. If persons in garrisons had better financial education sense, then they would accomplish a whole lot more. It's just that they do things very different when compared to persons uptown. For example, even though bleaching of the skin is illegal, it is a million dollar industry in Jamaica, mostly supported by people living in the garrisons. Both men and women bleach, but men seem to take it a little bit more serious. Wholesalers makes millions from selling these products it's actually their number one selling item versus uptown very few people bleach let's talk about this kiyama furniture store them yeah the one them we say i have purchased mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they heavily rely on garrison people to make their fortune hear them with them sweet mouth zero down and three months to pay then when you go to sign up the contract, all kind of manner of evil, everybody, your mother, your sister, your uncle have to come sign to be guarantor because they do know that one day you're going to get wise or get fed up and stop paying. Then, at the end of signing, they say something like, so you have 36 months to pay. They're not going to say years because when they say years, if they say years, that might be a deterrent and you just might change your mind. <laughs> them know the ghetto people like when them place look good, especially when it a come on to Christmas. You know ghetto people love when them all sat out and them not in a no pop down furniture business. Hair and cosmetic surgery. Mm -hmm. Touch no ugly girl no there again. Because beauty is literally for sale. Lace wig providers make a killing by selling the well-coveted lace front human hair. Most females have a few lace wigs to their collection. And a good lace wig starting price is something like 30,000 Jamaican dollars. Yeah, goody. Talk out your nice clean mouth. Everybody now is fixing what they don't like about their appearance. Breast, hip, tummy tuck, lipo, BBL, you name it. Garrison ladies are getting fixed no matter what the cost. Cosmetic surgery now is the new fashion in town. Don't mention dental braces. Now they are being worn for fashion. Almost everybody mouth is now wired and colorful. Mm -hmm. You think of that? 
check out the year to year big dance them the events where if your table is not brandishing those top shelf champagne then you're just a nobody literally not to mention new year's night 12 o'clock your ear gunshots until your ears ring and we all know the gun them big so the shot them expensive lastly funerals listen listen people garrison funerals is so lit chariot the expensive casket release enough doves hey them people that come out and them go on with themselves the dead wear the most expensive suit and a imago underground yeah goody talk out your nice clean out it's a fashion affair straight through Yes, people not do that cremation something there no my love and if them can't pay for them dead alone get buried in the hole a data go on they send off their loved ones in fine luxury not to mention the palatial tombstone mm-hmm. Touch so please i beg you stop referring to inner city communities as poor because ghetto is not a place it's simply a state of mind people who live in the inner city communities have different hobbies and different interests their priorities are simply different from persons living uptown if most garrison people should really put their talents and skills to work for them along with knowledge of financing then producers would almost outnumber consumers if you found value in this video then what are you waiting for like it share it and leave a comment let's talk about it